What up? It's Sunday, the 2nd of August. You know what I'm saying? I guess you could say it's the first 24 hours. I ain't gonna say all these all these videos are gonna be 24 hours. Uh, <laughs> there you go right there. I ain't gonna say all these videos are gonna be 10 minutes. But uh, I'm definitely gonna try to make sure that I, I give y'all a full update on everything going on. So, um, couldn't find bacon that uh, didn't have sugar in it. Couldn't find any condiments that, had, that didn't have sugar in it, so I had to cut it. Matter of fact, we had to cut everything that had sugar in it, which means 99% of everything that we eat has sugar in it on a regular daily basis. I'm not just saying we as a person, I'm saying we as a public. I'm talking about vegetarians, I'm talking about um, everybody, because we went to Sprouts, we went to Aldi's, we went to Albertsons. And store after store, getting the healthiest versions of products. It's only a slim market for anything that doesn't have sugar on it. And it, you'd, be, you'd be surprised. So instead of bacon, we use prosciutto. Instead of uh, uh, eggs, we use organic eggs. Because uh, regular eggs apparently don't get treated the same way. And of course, the chickens don't get treated the same way. So, you know what I'm saying? Not really an animal rights person, but... I do feel like, you know, supporting the companies that do a better job of making sure that your products are washed over, cared over, taken care of the right kind of way is really just the best way to go. So, um, I'm going to upload this one too. And for all the concern, I ain't really worried about the views or anything like that because I'm not really promoting it. So, funny thing about going without sugar is when you go through your first 24 hours, it is like kicking a habit and it's crazy because you don't realize how much sugar you have on a daily basis even when you think you have none. The only surefire way to do it is really to take a look at everything that's in your refrigerator, everything that you have, everything that you buy and see if you got sugar in it. You can do the same thing. Go a day without sugar but instead of going a day without sugar Make sure you got everything that you eat with no sugar at all and see how far you get. Be surprised. I mean, because you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. No no sugar in your coffee, right? No, uh, no sugar in your tea, no sugar in your cereal, no sugary cereal, right? But the cereal that you eat got sugar. Almost every single one that they ever make, period. Bacon has sugar in it. Ketchup automatically has sugar in it. Sometimes the products will say sugar-free and then they'll just turn the sugar into some plastic sugar just to hide it from your face. It's still sugar. So yeah, you want to lose weight, cut the sugar, drink plenty of water. If you want to have some milk, make coconut milk, make almond milk. Make it. Don't buy it. Because if you buy it, chances are it's going to have sugar in it. Look at every single back of the label. You'd be surprised. You, 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 you would laugh when you find out where sugar is. And you find out that really companies will turn flavors a certain kind of way just to make sure that it's not as salty, that it's not as uh, bitter. So it makes it automatically taste a little bit better than normal. And of course, you got to make that extra step. And the main reason why I found that it's good to get stuff that's uh, organic because a lot of times... You get an opportunity to know that this isn't clone food, this isn't um, food that has stuff on it just to make it last longer, food that has MSG on it that makes it taste a certain kind of way, it makes it stick to your stomach for a little bit and you'd be hungry in about an hour. Because they always say that you know the Asian food places are the main places that do this, but all companies do it. They put MSG in their food. They do. Most fast food places, half the time, when you buy those frozen foods and frozen meals, now you can cheat your way through uh, the whole 30 by, you know what I'm saying, getting uh, frozen vegetables, but you still got to watch out for them. You can try to um, inhibit the diet by coming up with stuff that you can eat that is a substitute for french fries and all that kind of stuff. But you got to keep in mind one thing. If you want to kick the habit or change your lifestyle, as soon as you come off, the first thing you're going to do is go right back to the stuff that you was trying to make the fake version of. So when you're making pasta with zucchini or whatever the case is, you almost just got to, when you come off, you almost just got to keep it as a regular lifestyle and just maybe give yourself a day 
out of the month where you go have your fast food, you go have your Starbucks or something like that. Because it's too much and you see the difference. Now, what I'm also going to do uh, while I'm on this kick habit is I'm going to try to see if I can get to a doctor and go get an extended version of a physical and actually go have them look at uh, my heart and everything else. Not to say I'm unhealthy in that part either, but to see what kind of damage I've done to myself over the years. I haven't been living my life. I don't feel like I'm really an unhealthy guy, but I feel like it's actually funny to say that and then go see what it looks like under under a doctor, you know, with a doctor and actually having them tell me what I look like and everything and how I write. So that way, I know what to do, what I need to do, what I need to improve on. So yesterday uh, for breakfast, since I had to be creative, I, I didn't feel like being creative because I didn't really want to do it. I told you I woke up at 3, so by the time 6 came, I didn't feel like doing nothing. So I just made some eggs, ate some eggs, and that was my breakfast, and I was hungry, cranky, tired, frustrated, pissed off, had an apple. Shot me up for about five seconds and came right back down. I'm starting to really understand that most of these companies, they make this food to make you feel like you're full and really be doing so much worse to your body body system that you don't even realize it. So yeah, you got to be careful, man. For uh, lunch, we had uh, uh, tuna fish, tuna fish uh, salad, but you have to make your own mayonnaise. So you, could, you try to use a Nutribullet. The Nutribullet didn't work. So had to use a blender. Blender didn't really work that well. So by the time it came out, it, it came out. But you know what I'm saying? It, it's like a mayonnaise paste. I guess I'll put it that way. But it worked. So had that with some uh, squash and for dinner. Ended up having some shrimp mango tacos, of course, on some lettuce instead of actually taco shells or uh, tortilla shells because both of them, you know, bread, starch, sugar. All that stuff. Um, and today, end up having a better breakfast. Had some eggs, some prosciutto, some uh, pineapple. So, we're good now. It's just one day at a time. Definitely drink a lot more water. About to go cut the grass. Got a little more energy than I did yesterday. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go sign off and go get this grass cut. All right? One.